hello again so today we are going to talk about specialization generation and aggregation what is specialization right so specialization as the name suggests specialist of something suppose you say um uh, you are a doctor right so you are specialist you are eye specialist you, you are a gyno specialist or some specialist so that is the specialization that is in dbms language if you say adding more class to existing class to make a new class right so, suppose a class already exists and then you add another class to that to make a whole new class so that is a specialization okay so uh, i'm not going to write, write the definitions right it's long so you can just take it uh, from the wikipedia or you can just hear me okay so again what is specialization adding more class to existing class to make a new class is known as specialization okay so the suppose um, we are engineers right suppose to take engineering uh, as um first take let's take college right college college got college name or uh, sub let's say student not college sorry for that let's take student student got college student uh, sorry student got roll number student got contact number okay a student did his mtech mtech right from there after mtech he chose different subjects right in electronics there are two vital subjects uh, your uh, vlsi and second is your communication so suppose they choose one chose vlsi second chose communication right see what uh, communication so what what are you doing you were a student you specialized him in mtech then again you specialized him in vlsi and communication right so they are doing job now that's a different issue okay so this is a specialized specialization uh, one uh, uh, yeah this is top to bottom approach all right top to bottom approach okay from top you are going to bottom this is your specialization now suppose we take your generalization the opposite of specialization all right I am very bad with spellings. Generalization. You get the spellings right by yourself, all right? I am not good with good with that. So, bottom to top approach. What is generalization? Viewing the process of viewing a bunch of objects into a single class. All right. The purpose of being a bunch of uh, object in a single class, yeah, this this can do the definition. Okay, so uh, there are a bunch of objects you are gathering or viewing them into a same class. That is a generalization. So, what I mean by that is, suppose take uh, a um, you know um, medical uh, example. All right, this is a um, well, no, not medical. <laughs> if we take this engineering example only, we, uh, we can show you. Okay let's take the same example right because um, in exam i think you should consider taking two examples okay but here i'm going with you guys the same example right so to make you guys understand okay suppose two student did vlsi and communication they are doing their jobs but they did their mtech without mtech they couldn't have done VLSI or communication, right? MTech, yeah, they were MTech, but they were engineering students, right? Because a medical student cannot do your VLSI or communication, right? So, yeah, again, they have their college name, roll number. Yeah, these are not the matters. The, the thing that matters is there were two different students, there are two different guys who did VLSI communication. They're doing job. What they did in common, they did. MTech. So we're generalizing these two 
into mtech then again we are generating the whole thing into uh, engineering students engineering students that is they 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 all are engineering students you are getting this these we are generalizing into mtech then this whole thing we are generalizing into engineering students right so this is your bottom to uh, top approach okay so specialization generation uh, there is one more term uh, that is known as aggregation i'm okay i'm going there aggregation what aggregation does is it breaks a year diagram so that uh, it doesn't get congested right that is um, suppose there is a year diagram uh, this is your job um, this is your worker this is your um, you know this is your work time this is your work location take whatever you guys want right and then there are these manager right what aggregation does is aggregation makes one part of the year diagram into entity right so this whole part is made into entity what i mean by this is now after aggregation the whole thing will look like this is the relation manages by the manager all right and this is your job <sighs> yeah my bad this was the relation and these were the entities my bad my bad i was confused sorry yeah so this is the manager this is your job okay and the rest are suppose workers work time workplace whatever you guys want so what happened is this whole thing is now a entity all right this whole thing is now an entity and then from this uh this manager is relation with this uh, the managers is relation manager is relation with this, this one with managers all right so this is your aggregation so to sum this up or this specialization is a bottom drop approach specializing a class simple that is adding um, one or more class into existing class to make a new class or this generalization viewing uh, many objects into a same class is known as a generation that is your generalizing this in this this in this aggregation uh, uh, breaking uh, not breaking viewing a whole part of uh, or some part of year diagram into a entity and then making uh, a new year diagram where uh, it is easy to understand you can say it like that or if there is there are better um, i mean there definitions in internet you can search it it's really up to you but these are the main three uh, 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 things of normalization so here they are okay so specialization generalization aggregation hope you guys understood uh, you guys can uh, make the definitions uh, i mean you guys can learn the definitions and you can guys make whatever i said uh, and you guys can write it down right so yeah the important part is these diagrams all right so you, yeah as i said you can guys make these diagrams as as, as far, far you want that's totally fine just remember top to bottom approach i'm sorry top, uh yeah top to bottom approach bottom top approach and then there's this thing okay so hope you guys understood yeah if you guys did then great uh see you guys in the next video